become my blade once more. Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to explain in detail how you can create the best and most effective build for the Maliketh's Black Blade, the fantastic colossal sword we can obtain after defeating Maliketh, one of the strongest bosses from Elden Ring's base game. I'm going to be using this blade to defeat every major boss of the DLC without taking a single hit. So let's jump straight into the build. Today we are going to be using the Maliketh's Black Blade on plus 10 and the Claw Mark Seal on plus 25. This way we will get the most out of the Black Blade incantation and we will be able to cast our buffs. We need any weapon with the Raptor of the Mist as of War to easily dodge the Radan Slide Explosion attack and the Commander Gaius Charge attack, but you can also use it to dodge any other difficult attack you like. I'm going to be using the Rakshasa's armor set that will increase our damage by a total of 8%. Remember that if you are tired of using this armor set, you can use any other one you find useful, but I really find it really necessary this time because we are using a weapon that deals holy damage, which is not the strongest elemental damage of this game. But it's up to you. The best talismans we can use for this build are the Axe Talisman, the Two-Handed Sword Talisman, the Sacred Scorpion Charm and the Blade of Mercy. But you can also use the Dagger Talisman perfectly fine and if the boss fight is taking a while you can use the All Lords Talisman to increase the duration of your buffs. In this case I do not recommend you to use the Shard of Alexander cause the skill of this weapon is not that powerful so the damage boost we will get from this talisman will not be worth it. It is way better if you use the Blade of Mercy to increase your damage after a critical hit or the Dagger Talisman to deal more damage with that critical hit. In our flask of Wondrous Physic, we are going to use the Blood Sucking Crack Tear and the Holy Shrouding Crack Tear. Just be aware that the Spike Crack Tear will only take effect when you are performing charge heavy attacks. Another great alternative can be the Stonebarb Crack Tear. This weapon deals already a very good stance damage and combined with the Stonebarb Crack Tear can get really really powerful. As we are playing with a Colossal Sword and dealing heavy attacks, this build is gonna devour stamina so be sure to craft some Pickle Turtle Legs to boost your stamina regeneration speed. To get the most out of this weapon and to have an optimal build, we are going to use 50 on Vigor, 25 on Mind, 40 on Endurance, 70 on Strength, 12 on Dexterity and 65 on Faith. Golden Vow and Howl of Shabriri are going to be our main buffs. If you want you can use the Black Blade Incantation, it's not that powerful but it's very cool looking and it can help you to defeat lesser enemies. And as we are using a very high Faith level, we can use the Blessing of the Earth Tree to counter the HP drain effect of the Blood Sucking Crack Tear. This way we will get that 20% damage buff without losing our HP dramatically. And as as you can see I have my Scatter's Replacing on the level 20 and if you want to deal the same amount of damage I'll be dealing to the hardest DLC bosses, be sure to have it on the level 20 as well. If you don't want to farm runes or materials for your Elden Ring builds, MMOEXP is the best web service where you can easily acquire as much runes and items as you wish for the best price. Use my code CARLOSEN to get a 5% discount on your purchases. Thanks MMOEXP for sponsoring today's video. Now I'll show you how to buff your character with this build. First you are going to use your Flask of Wondrous Physic, then you are going to use Blessing of the earth tree and you are going to cast golden vow. I'm going to skip the blessing of the earth tree because I actually don't need it and I'm going to go straight to my golden vow and my pickle turtle neck. Then you are going to use your body buff, in this case it's going to be Howl of Shabriri, but if you don't have it, then you can use Flame Grand New Strength, but it's not recommended for this build. Refill your FP, your HP, and with that you should be ready to go. As I previously mentioned, the skill of this weapon is not that powerful and it's really sad because it looks very amazing, so in my opinion, the only way to get a very decent result with the skill of the weapon is stacking the Bleed, Poison, and Madness boss at the same time, but I really do not recommend doing that because it's very tedious, and if you do that, your whole buff stack will last roughly 15 seconds. Once again the real deal with this weapon is using the basic moveset it has, it's very cool and very solid. Now that we have completed and optimized our build, what do you say if we begin with the boss fight? Okay, we are good to go, careful here, hopefully we'll get it, oh my god. I really don't like this attack guys. Oh, at least I survived it. Oh, the heat is very strong. Oh, that was completely unexpected. He's going to that thing. I hate this attack with my life, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm alive. I'm alive. Oh my god. Let's do this. Let's take the risk. Oh 
we did it! Nice first try! There you go, there you go, nice try bad boy, but I'm better. Guys, for real, I don't remember the last time I struggled with this guy. I, I guess it was the, the first few weeks of the game, of the DLC. Finally, I land a hit on this guy, bro. A significant one. Oh, here. This is a free heavy hit. Oh my god! <laughs> Get the crit hit! No! <laughs> nice! I'm ready to go. Hey there, homie. It's nice. You are going down, bad boy. Take this. Oh, I knew it, bro. <laughs> Very good. Okay, homie, stop it. Okay, nice. Very good. You're not going. Oh my god, bro! That oh my god. This guy is dairy. Oh, you're not going anywhere. Oh, nice, baby. Nice, 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 nice. It's the best we can do with this weapon, guys. Come on, come on. Wait a little bit there, baby. You can wait a few. Oh, thankfully. Let's go. Wow. Back up! Oh my god! Get her! Let's go! Oh, beautiful! <laughs> Nice! It's a shame that the skill of a weapon like this is not that effective, bro. They really, really curse this weapon by not making the skill a little bit decent, bro. Yeah, I'm not asking for a completely busted skill, but at least decent. You know, it's one of the important uh, bosses uh, when it comes to this type of build, you know? Oh no, no, no. Oh no. Nah, bro. Jeez, bro. This is. Oh my god. Oh, what? Let's go. What? <laughs> Let's go, baby. Let's go. Take a heavy hit. I think with oh me oh this is great. You are going down now, lady. Let's go. Ah, that's a beautiful crit hit. Careful there, nice. Oh nice, this is very good, nice. 
Come on. Let's go. <laughs> we did it, bro. <laughs> Nice. There you go. That's quite nice. Here I can use a heavy attack, a charge heavy. It will be nice. Let's go. Oh my god. That's a very good sign, bro. Let's do this. Come on. This time I have to get it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, let's go. This time I have to get it, guys. Run! Oh my god, that was close. Come on. Ah! <laughs> nice, baby. 